Hey guys, my name is Samsonite. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest told you it would happen. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back at Transylvania on business. That I was gonna I was gonna read that. Okay, oh. Uh you've arrived back in back here at Transylvania on business to destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. Now, the story behind this game. The story behind this game is at the end of the last one, you remember when I heroically destroyed Dracula, he put a curse on me. So I have to go around, gather all his, I think there's five different parts of him, gather him up, re-summon him, and then kill him again. Hey, I didn't write this. Game start. And also this will be a more of a series. Whoa! Whoa! I'm just here, I guess. This one will be a series, this one won't be... What are you? What are you, man? Okay, obviously that's a person. I... Oh! Rumor has it, the fairy man at Dead River loves garlic. Now remember, this is, this has more like linear gameplay. Are you the fairy man? Uh, no, I don't have... What is going on? Okay. I know you have to go collect those five different different pieces. Scuba. Uh-oh. This... As always with couch plays, Scuba is at risk of ruining my life. Okay, now, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Oh, also this game has a day-night cycle. Which is really cool. And monsters are like infinitely harder at night. Um. I'm not. Sh I know the villagers can lie to you. And also, I I'm gonna shoot you straight here. Not a lot of people don't know this, but. There's the classic quote what a horrible night to have it. Wait a minute! I didn't think it was going to change. Also, it gets much more difficult at night. Oh, it has a much more forgiving, um... Restart point. Oh, but no blinky invincibility time. So that's... Scuba! <laughs> Knocking over my light and everything. How's that look? That looks good. Stop! Chill. Chill. I love you. This cat. It's Scooby! Scooby Scooby! Yeah, I know. You want to go do stupid things. And... That was on you. Not a lot of people like this game is what I've been desperately trying to say. To say out of the original trilogy of games, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, uh, Dracula's Cur- or, uh, Simon's Quest, and, uh, and Castlevania 3, uh, where you play, you know, as Alucard for the first time, and, and Grant and all them, uh, they say this is the worst of the, of the original three. I've never played the second one. I know, I know, I claim to be a Castlevania enthusiast, and yet I haven't played Technically, I haven't played... Before uh, making that last video, I've never beaten any of the original three. Oh, I can just walk on that! Okay, so I was... I was looking it up. Because I want to play every Castlevania game that exists on the channel. Uh, 
I'm, I'm officially starting Samsonite's quest to play every Castlevania game. Now, when I say every Castlevania game, that doesn't mean every remaster, every off version, because I know, technically, this isn't the second game that was released, this is like the fourth. What was it? Um, Vampire Killer? Um, Vampire Killer, Castlevania, and then Haunted Castle. And then this. But Haunted Castle and... Well, Haunted Castle is an old arcade game that no one can get their hands on unless you spend like a grand. Uh, and it's not very good. Um, whoa, 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 excuse you. I need a better whip, dude. Um... Hello, Mr. Eyeball. Excuse you. Hey, bitch. Whoa. Why start me there? Okay, so I want to tell you guys a thing. This game has several endings, depending on how fast you beat it. You get the best ending if you beat it within, I think it's eight in-game nights. Unsure about the other ones, but I'm not going to play this for the best ending. I'm going to play this for... For, um... Whatever ending I get. I'm, I'm not doing this as a... I mean, Symphony of the Night will be 100% a completionist run, like you have never seen before, but... Oh, um... This? No. I'm playing it honestly. I'm playing it like, okay, this is my experience with the game. I mean, maybe in the future? Son of a bitch, why can't I get up there? Okay, so I restarted. It's fine. Wait, wait. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. That's what I came back for, because I have just this weird feeling that... I have a weird feeling that I need to buy a white crystal from him. From the 50 hearts that I already have. Now, I looked it up, and it said that it lets you see hidden platforms. So I can only assume that I can, uh, I can get across spots I normally couldn't before. Whoa. Am I in the first castle? I'm extremely unclear where I'm supposed to be standing. What am I standing on right now? But also, they're not gonna hear this, and that's fine. This is more for me telling you. I wrote this show last winter, uh, after the movie started getting big, and I'm like, we should make something else. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Let's make... Because the pro a lot of the problems with the show was I had... I wanted to get a lot of story, but putting it into a movie made it boring. But I was like, if I can get the same amount of storytelling in ten episodes of a... Like an episodic thing, as opposed to a movie setting. Uh, and that way it wouldn't be as boring. It's in smaller doses, and you can mix action with with um, plot development, and make the action plot development. And I took a lot of what I learned from the movie when I was writing the show, and I feel like the story of the show is much better. 
Uh, but my main point is, I just texted everyone because everyone in the show, besides my parents, are in a group chat together. Actually, I don't know if Jeremiah's in it or not. Um, no, he's not. Um, but, uh, the, um, the thing is, I texted them, and I'm like, guys, I'm writing a show, because we're, we're doing more next, well, at the time it was next summer. And they're like, okay, and I'm like, text me the character you want to play. Just give me, give me your character's personality type. And they were all like, oh, cool, all right, and they did. All of them within like an hour and a half of me texting them, they saw it and responded, and, they, and it was is so cool to like write. Hey, Scoop, can you see her? You can see her moving the curtain, but you can't see her. Uh, it was just so cool to see. Like they get. Why can't I get up there? I don't get it. It was just extremely cool to see that I created a character with the information they gave me, and then from that they brought it to life. Seeing Michaela and Dimitri and Zach and George and everyone just bring, Kaylee, just everyone bring their characters to life is just, it's, I know it's just a little YouTube show that we made in our free time during the summer, but it's, it's really cool to me how, like, Dimitri gave me Dimitri's exact text was actual cinnamon roll. I was like, all right, I'll do what I can, and I did. And he, Matthew's one of my favorite characters. Drake's my favorite character. He's the most compelling to me. What's going on in his head? No one knows. That was unfair. He's a demon. I'm not. <clears throat> yeah, I would love to play a uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night on the channel. That'll be fun. Now, I'm not sure what the oak steak does, but I know I need it. So I've been looking up uh, a general guideline as to what to do. Otherwise, this is going to take me eight years. <clears throat> oh, this looks promising. Oh, yes. Hang on, let me kill this dude. Come here, bitching, bitchington. You now possess Dracula's rib. That's so screwed up. Huh. Alright guys, that's it for this video. It was a uh, much shorter this time around. Huh. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'm glad you're joining me on this uh, quest to, to, to beat all of the Castlevanias. So uh, be sure to check in for the next one because I want to see you there.